Welcome everyone, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you're doing well. I'm uploading this video with Nomad Internet today for you. Link in the video description if you need some mobile unlimited hotspot internet. <laughs> it begins! <laughs> Now, if you've been following this little saga here, you know I have had some troubles here with my coachman Murata, aptly named Miranda here. And in a previous video, we completely demolished the uh, bedroom area here. The quick story is the slides on this RV no longer work as Actually, there's a lot of stuff on this RV that doesn't work, but in moving forward and making it more practical, I am rebuilding the back area and completely remodeling it. So I pulled everything out in a previous video, and I've come up with a personalized custom blueprint idea for my bed and my storage area to fit my exact lifestyle on the road with my cat, Jax. So, in this video, although it's going to take probably two or three days to fully complete, I am going to completely build the new bed with storage in this area, add the new mattress, and transform this area into something that works much, much better for me. So no need to uh, criticize and say, I would have done this or I would have done... Great, that you, you should. You should definitely do it however it would work with you, for you. But in this video, I'm going to kind of share with you the reasons why I built certain storage areas that aptly work for Jax's stroller or for my projector screen or custom cubbies that hold my RC truck hobby, which I love so much, and why I'm building the bed 11 inches higher than it was before to hold more Mickey storage for stuff I collect on the road for my massive Mickey Mouse collection that you will see in the house here soon as work continues on a custom Mickey room in my house. Yeah, guys, but in the meantime, went to Lowe's, Let me go outside. All of the uh, hardware I need is inside the RV. I got the lumber with uh, two pieces of half inch for the bed and support, and then some quarter inch paneling for the side walls. Also, we've got hinges and, and other stuff, and there's the, the two by fours. For Can I also mention I am not a carpenter by any means. I have no knowledge, no, I, I've never worked on houses before. However, I just kind of get it to a certain, we're gonna make it work for me in this RV. And as I do with everything that I repair in this RV, I'm going to make it better than it was before. That's my whole theory. I do like coming outside every once in a while and seeing Winter Wonderland at Nomadic Fanatic's home base here. Makes me smile every time. So I have cleaned and prepped the area for the two by four construction to build the base of what's gonna go on here. Again, if you're new to the channel, we had a queen size bed in here that took up the entire space right here when the slide was in. You couldn't even open the cabinets. I then went to a full size bed, which went to about here. And then I realized that I still wanted to contract more. So tomorrow, hopefully I will be getting my full size Lowell mattress and that will be only 39 inches wide. A great bed for one person since it's just me and my cat, right? And then it's gonna be built up higher for more storage. And I, I, I like to say I'm kind of making this up as I go, but really I have a lot of stuff in my mind, a lot of things I'm thinking about. And, and so I'm just gonna start with the frame here and get back to you. Uh, just doing my uh, measurements to go around the uh, water heater now. Uh, I haven't had to replace this yet, but again, it would have been a pain in the butt to do it before. I'm gonna make sure that I work around this for when I have to replace this water heater. I want, to, I want it to be easy. So for my piece of wood coming right here, to drill out a little notch here, one and a half inches in to about three inches out. I'll drill that notch so that the piece of wood can go through here and keep the wiring and pecs covered. I only have the one battery. Well, I have two batteries charging the other one. My notch. Just test fit this one piece here. That'll work well. All right, so I'll go ahead and secure up all of my corners here of the base, and then we'll bring this in and test fit it for our new bed assembly. All right, test fit time. Let's 
see how I did here. This is the actual new bed size. This is the 75 inch long bed by 38 or 39 long for the twin size. You can see the old bed mark here. This is the um, full size and the queen was all the way back here. So this is your Eric Jacobs one person bed with jacks on this side. I'm using two inch wood screws to screw this into the wall on the side. Two inch because as many of you know, two by fours are not two inches by four inches. It's like one and a half or something like that. So a half an inch will go into the wall. I'm not gonna plate it to the floor just in case this needs to be removed. I'm going into the wall with screws all the way around. And then all these wires, like the outlets and stuff, these still need to be attached to two by fours in the future. That's why they're just sitting here right now. That is solid. Cool. Got a base. All right, my next move, remember my bed is gonna sit about 11 inches higher than it was before. And my goal is to have the top of the bed here at the window line so we don't obstruct the emergency exit here. But I'm going to get it as high as I can. So that you can't tell. See where my fingertips are? That's where the old bed stopped. Now it's going to be up here at the end of my fingertips. So I need to figure out how to reinforce and bring some 2x4s up around this to the level so we can pick our actual level knowing that the new mattress is 11 inches thickness that'll tell me how far to bring up my support rails on all sides all right getting closer i did have to turn on some fans it's still getting hot here in november uh so now all i gotta do is measure up the last uh two by fours around the edge here and then we'll be start working on the actual bed frame everything has been secured starting to look like a bedroom here folks yeah yeah I know what I'm doing here. Woo! No, I'm just really good at doing everything wrong. <laughs> Coming along. Man, I was doing really good tonight. Uh, unfortunately, my other Ryobi battery was not charged like I thought it was. So eh, it's going to be at least an hour, hour and a half till I have another battery. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and we'll get back started on this bedroom project tomorrow morning. All right, hang on. I have looked for Jax in all the normal places. He loves sleeping under the Christmas tree. Um, and I can't find the kitty cat. Well, I don't know where him's is, but well, do I really want to go in here? I'm sure he's in here, I guess, but I was going to wait to show you this room. You can see I've got my rowing machine and my new elliptical in here, and this is the Mick. Oh, I already see him. Okay, so oh my gosh, he's so precious. Look at this little goober. Is that pretty comfy then? I'm still working on this room. We haven't we haven't shared this room with everybody because, well, we ordered two more of these shelving units from Walmart and had to wait ten days just to be told they were they were out of stock from the manufacturer. Ten days after I purchased them, we aren't getting them. So I have reordered them through Amazon, and it says ten to fourteen day delivery on those. Um, so <laughs> the uh, Mickey room. I'm, I'm kind of glad that you can't see much in this shot right now. The Mickey room is massive, and it's going to be so much more massive. My Mickey watch, too. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that one, I guess. It's very cozy here at NF Base Camp in Illinois. I have been in a really good mood lately. Even though not everything has gone to plan, you know... What would I do without this house? This was the strangest COVID panic purchase and it has really helped me out. So Jax and I get to stay in here while I'm doing the RV repairs. I got a guy who's going to do some welding work on my RV in town also to help reinforce the uh, motorcycle carrier like like Kevin's got, camper van Kevin's got. Um, 
So, geez, I'm really, really happy for this house. I don't know what the future holds for travel. So we will just continue to get stuff done. Does that sound like a pretty good plan, Nomadic Fanatic Bobblehead? Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks, sounds, sounds pretty good. Okay, it's pretty good for me. Okay. You never know with Illinois. I had to put the air conditioner back in the window as we hit 82 degrees in November here in Illinois. And for reference, I'm about five and a half hours south of Chicago. So much, much different climate in Chicago than here in the, in the, in the, I'm, I'm really close to like St. Louis basically. Uh, but either way, it is, it has been hot and we have three more days that are close to 80 coming in November. I'm like, wait, I, I wanted a white Christmas. Sean reminded me, he's like, dude, you know that we have actually had 80 degree Christmases here. So it could go either way. We could have an 80 degree Christmas or we could have a white Christmas and I just don't know yet. Yeah. But it was clearly too early to put this guy away because I needed it desperately today. The area here where my house is at averages about 11 to 12 inches of snow annually. However, you know, winter doesn't start until December 21st. And if I'm leaving before the new year, if it's if it's legal to leave, I don't even know yet, uh, then I may not see snow. I may not see a single flake of snow. I really, really wanted to see some snow. I didn't want to drive in it. I didn't want to deal with it. I just wanted to see it in the yard and then have it melt by 2 p.m. or something on Christmas morning. We'll see. You used up all the glue on purpose. <laughs> Greatest Christmas movie ever. I haven't watched it yet. Sean came down yesterday. I, although I didn't film it or anything, uh, Sean and Jill came over. We set up the projector screen here in my backyard and we watched the first official Christmas movie of the season, Chevy Chase's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And it was fantastic. Christmas story we still got to come. That's coming later. Uh, this video is running a little long. So how about another video tomorrow? Would that be cool with you all? Yeah. Let's get this project finished. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning here on the Nomadic Fanatic channel. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.